Mm. These are fresh. These are very warm. Look at that. It looks like a commercial. It doesn't always look this good, so. Mm. I, don't know. I need like a tray or something. But that's okay. We have some Coke Zero. Which I usually stay away from because of caffeine sensitivity, but you know what? I'm treating myself today because I've been having some rough days. This is my favorite shape. The spicy McNuggets are spicy. Here, they're not joking. I just closed my window because I feel a little bit self-conscious there's people around. And also I think it's better for the audio. Um, but these are so good. They're orange. They almost taste like, um, you know Arby's curly fries? How they have that spicy coating. I love those fries. They don't have Arby's here. They only have McDonald's. So, how are you guys? I had to private my last live stream, which I'm sorry about, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything that I was talking about. It was just because the audio, when I went back and checked it, it was so bad. And I think I messed up the microphone where it was too close or something. And I was like screaming into it and it was just peeking all over the place. And I can't, I'm sorry, I can't. It's okay, it wasn't that great of a live. I was mostly just complaining the whole time, so. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. But basically I was talking about the loud music and how it was making me not sleep at night in the summer. This is so fresh. This is my breakfast. Breakfast of champions. This is the highlight of my day. So far, I don't know. I don't know what the di rest of the day is gonna look like, but so far this is the highlight. Mm. Mm. So good. I don't know why, but whenever I get Coke Zero in any other place, it doesn't taste this good. I mean, the way they mix it, I think, the way they mix it in their soda fountain is just the perfect mix of carbonated water and syrup, so it's just special.
you know, some of you guys were commenting on the live stream that I privated, and there was somebody who commented that, oh, this sounds like OCD and rumination, kind of, and I think you might be right, but, but this is something that I've always struggled with, where I have a very obsessive brain, and when things are not going right, my brain's sole purpose is to, like, hyperfixate on whatever is not right, to try to fix it. Which you would think would be a good thing, but if it's something without an immediate solution, then it just starts going in this loop, and that's where the obsessive loop begins, and it's hard to break out of that loop sometimes, um, and to try to see, like, no, you're okay right now. Maybe you'll find a solution for later, but like you're okay right now. Just calm down. Because <laughs> my brain just takes away, like, it takes off and it just doesn't let it go. I love that sound. Um, but no, I had a pretty good night's sleep last night, so I feel a lot better today. Um, I'm not good without sleep. I'm just not. I, I don't exist without sleep. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to my main meal yet. The, my McChicken is right here. Well, these are very good. Highly recommend. If you haven't tried it, these are the spicy McNuggets. With barbecue sauce, of course. It's weird. In Italy, when you go through the drive-thru, they always recommend mayonnaise. They're like, oh, is mayonnaise okay? And I'm like, no. Why would mayonnaise be okay? I want barbecue sauce. <laughs> I don't know, Italians love their mayonnaise. It's weird, but it's true. We'll go to a pizza place and, you know, the people we go with, when they order fries, they ask for extra mayonnaise because they just love mayonnaise. It's an Italian thing. I don't get it. Ugh. We literally haven't come to McDonald's maybe in a month. We usually come every week, but like once a week we, we used to come, but I don't know. It just didn't happen this month, so this is a real treat. I love fake food. <laughs> it's not fake, I mean, it's still food, but it's just a little processed. We're parked like in front of this Chinese store and I'm basically looking directly at the staircase that people used to exit. It's a little awkward, but there we go. It's not too crowded. P basically had to buy some things for her plants. She loves plants. It's her thing. And, um, it's not my thing. I kill plants. So, oh, she's back. She got, like, those plant pots. The rectangular, kind of, to put it outside in the balcony. Filming, is that okay? You still have an entire sandwich, I see. I know. Um, um, 
Is it I, okay if we just cross the road and go to Brick OK? Since you, it's going to take you ah, 20 more minutes. We're driving. Oh boy. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> just a second. I go very slow. I know, I know. I just need to resituate myself. <laughs> I have to take my phone off. Don't, don't, don't move. No, no, I'm not gonna move until. Do you, do you want some help? No, it's fine. I'm used to it. This is what we do a lot. <laughs> no, it's okay. I appreciate it. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should yeah, take close your time. it. Take your time. Are you okay? Should I wear my seatbelt or should I risk it? No, I'll wear it. That's really bright. I can't. It's okay. We're gonna have a cool sunglass mukbang. She put this here because her hair was wet, so she couldn't look. Yeah. So I'm. Um, we're parked next to uh, this other store now, <laughs> where she's gonna look for more plants. This is why separating your finances is so important. So you don't fight over stupid stuff like this because like I couldn't care less about plants. In the in the last month she spent quite a bit on just plants and pots and dirt. But it's fine. I don't care cuz we split we split our finances. We're like, okay, you know, we have our expenses which we do and have. And then I have my expenses like this McDonald's. And she has her expenses. Expense expenses. Like the plants. I spend my money the way I want to spend my money. And she spends her money the way she wants to spend her money. <laughs> and we don't fight. It was like a marriage hack. And then the best marriage hack by far is separate bedrooms, obviously. These nuggets were so good, so fresh. They hit the spot. I wish I would have gotten nine pieces. This was six. That's okay, because we have the sandwich. So good. They're more flavorful than the regular ones. And very spicy, like a good amount of spice. It's like a hot Cheetos kind of spicy. Kind of looks like hot Cheetos now that I think about it. Mm, maybe not. I'm gonna put it here because there's a little bit of sun there. Now we're on to the next food item, which I've never eaten with sunglasses on before, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Let me get some napkins. Ah, uh, no, I have to take these off. Okay. I gotta see my food to taste it. You know what I'm saying? Such a nice... Look how perfect. This is this is Italy. This is the difference. Um, when I went back to Toronto, I tried McDonald's one time. And I was so disgusted. I think they use a different oil to fry everything here. And the chicken is um, like Italian. They're, it's more locally produced, I think, the ingredients. And it's just, it's just better. Like, look at that. Oh! <laughs> that landed on my knee. <laughs> you didn't see anything. It's okay. I'm not. I'm wearing shorts. It landed on my knee. 
it's all good. It's so good, but the nuggets were better. If they do a spicy McChicken, I'm going to try it next time. Mm, it's getting hot in here. It's so hot. Today is really like summer. It was, it was edging. It was almost like, oh yeah, it's going to feel like summer and then it was getting cold, but now it's now it's really full blown, full blown summer. I feel so cool. <laughs> I'll do sunglasses. So refreshing. The thing about me is because I was growing up, <laughs> because I was a chubby kid, I was never allowed to have regular Coke. So I've never actually drank regular Coke in my life. I've always just had Diet Coke. But um, I don't know, I tasted it one time because accidentally they gave me the regular Coke and I was like, this is disgusting this is way too sweet because you get kind of addicted to the taste of the artificial sweetness <laughs> tell me if this is just me but something about coke zero or diet coke it just hits different it's it's more refreshing it's more like a cool cucumber kind of sweetness whereas the regular coke is this acidic burn my tongue off level of sweetness right you know what i'm talking about right Please tell me I'm not the only one. My brain being formed with Diet Coke from childhood. <laughs> mm. I just realized this was still on. I'm telling you, I was in such a bad mood this morning. Like, I wanted to die. But like, it's always the thing of, do I really want to die or do I need to eat something? <laughs> because um, it might just be your blood sugar. So I'm just saying. Is it really existential depression or is it low blood sugar? I don't know. I mean, if eating fixes it, I'm pretty sure it was low, low blood sugar, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These are not fresh anymore. They got cold. You know why McDonald's fries are good? I discovered this. I, I was doing the research, right? Apparently back in the, I don't know, 80s when it first came out, they were using actual beef fat to fry the fries which would make it delicious but then when there was this whole um oh saturated fats are bad for you campaign they switched it out for canola oil and vegetable oil and all those oils that are so bad for you actually they switched it out for that but then the fries started tasting like shit so they added msg to make it taste like that beefy flavor again so the reason mcdonald's fries are good used to be because they were made made different but now the reason why they're good is because they put msg what a world <laughs> i'm pretty sure they use um sunflower oil here though because they don't have canola oil here so maybe that's why they taste better here okay that's my theory. I can taste a difference. So that's that's a very strong theory that I have that they use 
sunflower seed oil here. Mm. Which I think is better for you. I can't take it off. The sun is right there. Mm. Technically, this is my brunch because it's, um, I think it's like. 11.30. Oh, another fun fact is McDonald's actually has its own mayonnaise. And if you get it separately, you will see it's it writes mayo sauce. So it's not even mayonnaise, it's something else. I don't know what it is. It's their own concoction. It's not regular old mayonnaise. So God knows what's in that, but... It's really good. I'm trying like not to finish it. I think it's down to here. <clears throat> They gave me so many fries today. <laughs> they really filled that thing up because I still have so many fries. I don't want to drop it, but. By the way, where we live, the only fast food option is McDonald's so it's not that I'm like head over heels in love with McDonald's there's no other option <laughs> the only other fast food chain uh, is KFC but it's an hour and a half drive away from us and we're not doing that <laughs> I'm good other than that we have pizza restaurants and sushi restaurants that's it that's all the variety. I don't know what it is about Italians, but they really just like pizza and sushi. At least here in the south, so. Mm. As somebody who doesn't cook very well, who used to eat so much takeout, this was the hardest thing to adjust for me. I call it the beach tax. Whenever something isn't like working well here for me or like I'm struggling with it, I just call it the beach tax. Oh, you know, there's no fast food place. Oh, it's okay, it's the beach tax. It's what you pay for being close to a beach. <laughs> 
What are you gonna do? Oh, I have to learn Italian now. It's the beach tax, I have to do it. But yeah, I'm such an American at heart. Unfortunately, America is not very livable, so. Mm. There's some clouds. Ooh. My eyes have to adjust. Oh my god, there's a cat. That's a boy cat. I can tell. You can totally tell. But street cats, if they're like dirty and scruffy and have this kind of attitude of like, I own this place, it's a male. And it's if it's super clean, fluffy, but like slightly anxious, and super paranoid looking, it's a girl cat. Usually a mother cat. You can totally tell. Their personalities are so different. Is it testosterone? <laughs> We always had street cats around our house, right? There were these two kittens that were born. And I used to love the male kitten because it was more outgoing. He was more playful. The female one was always more timid, right? So my favorite was always the male one until they went through a puberty and the male one turned into a dirty asshole. <laughs> and the girl one, the girl cat, was the sweetest thing ever. It turned into the sweet sweetest thing ever. So I was like, okay, you know what? I changed my mind. And then the girl cat became my, my favorite. Yeah, I'm, I'm sexist even when it comes to cats. But I'm not lying, that's like their personalities. Unless you get them neutered at an early age. Because when they're fixed, they don't have the testosterone, so they don't turn into assholes. I'm sorry if there are any males watching this and taking it personally, but I'm not lying. It's finished. There's like this much left. It's a paper straw, but it's staying alive. It's a strong paper straw. I appreciate that. Sometimes the paper straws just melt. <laughs> this one's okay. So yeah, thank you for joining my mukbang. Let me know if you want to see any more of these. I'm just dabbling, trying everything. I love watching these, but I don't know. I don't know if people actually like watching these.
I can't wait to watch this back and see if my um, phone, my new phone, sounds good. Because with my old one, it was literally impossible to film um, like this outside. I don't know. Something about the microphone was not working working right. So. I didn't spill, except on my leg, but that's okay. <laughs> so, spicy chicken nuggets, 10 out of 10. So good. Try them if you haven't. Um, but like, if you have the option to get Chipotle, just get Chipotle. It's better than McDonald's. <laughs> okay, bye.